Let's talk about programming tutorials. So if you're learning to code, and I'm assuming you are because you're watching my channel, uh, you have watched tutorials, you've used them. Um, what I'm finding a lot is that there's an explosion of tutorials now, right? In the last couple of years here, there's no shortage of free information on the internet about how to learn to code, how to learn any programming language, any library, framework, whatever it might be, which is amazing. But I also hear from a lot of you guys that despite all the tutorials you're watching, you don't really feel like you actually are a programmer because you can't do much with it. Like many of you haven't even built your first project and you've probably been doing this for a couple months, right? So what I want to talk about in this video is what's going on there. Like why are tutorials failing for some people and working for others? And also give you some advice about how to use them more effectively. All right, so to me, the first thing that many of you guys don't really understand about the role of tutorials is that many tutorials really are there to explain what and not how. So what I mean by that is if you're learning JavaScript, let's say, and you're watching a tutorial, the tutorial is oftentimes going to tell you what the programming language is, right? So how does the syntax work? Like basically, how are the rules of the, the programming language? How does that work, right? So you're gonna learn about the an if statement. You're going to learn about variables. You're gonna learn about data types. You're gonna learn about looping through data. You're gonna learn about scope. There's so many things you're gonna learn, but they're all centered around what the programming language is not necessarily how you're going to use that to build some applications. Don't get me wrong, many instructors will, will demonstrate uh, what they're teaching you, but even the, through demonstrations, it's very hard to really convey how a variable is going to lead you to building some applications later on, right? How an if statement is going to lead you to, to building applications later on. So I think that's the major problem you're gonna find. And look, some uh, tutorials out there are actually really good at, and, and in-depth at explaining how something works in a very detailed manner, but what you find with those tutorials is they're super long. They're you know, two, three, four hours or even more because if you're really going to get in-depth about how to use a lot of what you are learning, it's gonna require a lot of time. So that's one of the biggest things that I find. Um, from there, the second thing I'd say is there's just nothing replaces experience. So if you're frustrated that you're watching a lot of tutorials and you don't really feel like you're a programmer, you don't really feel like you have the skills to build anything, it's because nothing replaces experience, right? Nothing replaces you sitting down in front of your computer, uh, trying to build something in, that you have in your head and using that programming language to do that and using everything you're learning from a tutorial. There is no substitute for that. You as a learner, I guess as a aspiring programmer, you have to create what are called mental models in your head, right? So you have an idea of how a programming language works in your head and you have to go then take that mental model and use it to create something. And your mental model in the beginning will be very, uh, let's say, not in touch with reality, right? You think things work a certain way, but ultimately you get feedback as you build projects that, okay, actually no, my concept of variables, of closures, of scopes, of how loops work, or how arrays work, it's a little bit off, I need to change it a little bit. As you run into problems, you get that feedback all the time. And by the way, I get why many of you guys avoid the work of building projects because maybe you don't know what to do, which, all you have to do is Google search or watch one of my previous videos that I'll link to up here. Um, also as well, it's you, you get a lot of feedback that you suck at the beginning, let's be honest. So you get a lot of feedback that you're not good at this. Um, you're gonna feel lost most of the time, but getting comfortable with that is going to make you better. It's gonna allow you to practice more and like I said, build those mental models. Now from there, the last thing I'd say is I'm, I'm gonna share some advice with you that I used when I was first learning to code that was super helpful. And that is whenever you use a tutorial, make sure that you know why you're watching that tutorial. And what I specifically mean by this is if you're going to watch a tutorial, make sure that you you have an end in mind. So think of a project that you can be building along while you're building or watching that tutorial, because what that's gonna allow you to do is if you wanna build a to-do app, you're like, I wanna do it with JavaScript, HTML, CSS, while you're going through that tutorial and it's explained to you the different syntax of that programming language, you can actually pause the tutorial, you can go and open up a code editor and start applying these things in a way to build that application. But if you don't have a purpose to this, if you just open a tutorial because you think, wow, I should learn JavaScript today, I think that'd be a cool idea, then you're likely going to, well, hopefully you'll enjoy the tutorial, first of all, and you'll be like nodding your head the whole time going like, this is fascinating, but you're gonna sort of feel lost. Like, okay, this is, feels great, but at the end, I don't really know how to build anything because you have to start and be proactive from the very beginning. So just always know why you're watching that tutorial and try to use the excuse of building a project to use a lot of that information. 
So that's what I see as being a big problem with tutorials. I hope this video has helped you and given you maybe a, a little shift in how to think about tutorials and how to use them better. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love to have you smash the like button down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to make sure to hit the bell icon as well so you get notifications anytime I put out a new video. Other than that, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one in my mentorship program, I'm going to leave a link in the description below of how you can do that. Other than that, thank you so much for watching and as always guys, peace out.